live from NBC4. This is the Channel 4 News at 11. And tonight, rats and filth on the food you eat. A Channel 4 News hidden camera investigation into the filthy secrets about some of the food in big name restaurants. Channel 4's Joel Grover and his team have been undercover for four months now on this. Yeah, they sure have, and tonight they've exposed some dangerous new problems with some of the food that's ending up in popular restaurants all across Southern California. Joel Grover is here now tonight with dirty secrets in his hidden camera investigation. Joel. Well, Paul, as you know, I've been investigating dirty restaurants for years, but now we've discovered a new way that food is getting contaminated before it even gets to restaurants. And we've learned the health department has known about these problems for years, but has failed to protect you, the consumer. This well-known L.A. restaurant has an A in the window. Hi, how are you? Suggesting the food is clean. But wait till you see where they get some of their produce. Yes. A place crawling with rats, where food is getting contaminated sometimes by people who work there. I saw you no, go into no, the no. bathroom right around yeah, boxes no, no, of food. No. And you'll see proof that health inspectors have known about problems here for years. It's been kind of lenient, awfully lenient with you guys. It's called the 7th Street Wholesale Produce Market in downtown LA. This is where thousands of Southern California restaurants and stores get their fruits and vegetables. Week after week, our cameras document filthy conditions here like workers dumping trash wherever they please. Workers picking up produce off the sludgy ground and selling it like it's clean. We found produce stored right next to the porta potties, which is against the health code. And produce stored right next to the garbage dumpsters, which are crawling with rats. Rats that feast on the market's fruits and vegetables. Are there rats? Oh, big ones. Boy, they love it in here. Well, rats carry disease. Jeff Nelkin is a forensic food safety expert. As they walk on top of the food or if they take a bite out of it, they're leaving their bacteria and viruses behind. And we found other serious health code violations, like in the bathrooms for the market's workers. No hot water. No way to turn the hot water on. The janitor also says there's never any soap. No soap. Every day we see workers like this woman using the toilets and then touching food without washing their hands with soap and hot water. It's a direct transfer of their feces, urine, bacteria, and viruses onto that food. And this is an image we saw multiple times. Take a look at this produce vendor, urinating right out in the open around boxes of vegetables. Why did you do that? Uh, I have no idea. I'm very stupid. I'm very stupid away. Go there. You shouldn't have done that. Correct. But this was perhaps the biggest health hazard we saw. Water spilling out of pipes that smelled like raw sewage. The water was splashed onto boxes of produce that were often sitting in that water. We took samples from the market and had them analyzed at a lab. What did they find in that water that was touching fruits and vegetables? Extremely high levels of E. coli fecal coliform and listeria, which can all cause food poisoning. The potential for an outbreak from exposure to this kind of inexcusable condition is of great concern. So where does this possibly contaminated produce end up? We tracked it to well-known chains like Johnny Rockets and IHOP. It goes to trendy restaurants like Sushi of Naples in Long Beach and Pasadena and to many smaller eateries like Pita Pita, also in Pasadena. Produce from a market with dirty conditions that surprise even some of the workers. I'm surprised the health department hasn't said something about this uh, market the way it is. We wondered that too, especially since the health department has all these records detailing a history of health code violations at the market. We'd like to show you some videotape. Sure. So we asked Terrence Powell, chief of the Department of Environmental Health. You see, our actions have been very aggressive in the area of sanitation. Aggressive, it seems, only after we started asking questions. Right after we requested an interview, our hidden cameras caught the chief health inspector telling vendors that NBC was investigating and they better clean up. NBC might be out here in another week or so. Really? You mean the television station? Yeah. Isn't that kind of embarrassing to the health department? Well, I think it's clearly embarrassing in terms of the rhetoric. It sounds like you're cleaning this place up because NBC is investigating. Well, I don't think that we have the ability 
nor do we have the desire to clean it up for the media. But that's not what the chief inspector said on hidden camera. We're diligently enforcing what we're supposed to have been doing all along. The fact that NBC's coming kind of gave us a heads up, huh? Yeah. Seems like your people have not been doing their job in keeping that place clean. I think it would appear so. I think we've been deficient in our enforcement. And what about the produce near the rat-infested trash and contaminated water? That food could be contaminated. Uh, yes, I think clearly so. Would you want to eat the food from this place? I would have a definite concern about the food emanating from this facility. But now the health department is promising a sweeping crackdown on the 7th Street Market. I think what we need to do is do our job. Better than you've been doing it? Clearly we need to improve. And some of the restaurants in our story also plan to make changes. In a statement to NBC, Johnny Rocket said, we have taken appropriate actions to ensure that our produce supplier will not be delivering 7th Street Produce Market products to any Johnny Rockets restaurants. Pita Pita also says it will stop using produce from the 7th Street Market until the health department cleans it up. IHOP and Sushi of Naples tell us they thoroughly wash all produce from any source before using it. And more of our undercover investigation tomorrow night. Look forward to it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Paul. Thank you, Joel. All right, Joel, thank you.